Hello everyone and welcome to this demonstration video brought to you by Paul Castle at Veloce. Alright, I'm going to give a quick run through of the new VW Beetle Essential Buyer's Guide app which is available on the iPhone and iPod Touch. Okay, here we go. I'm just going to launch the app now and we're looking at the main home page. From here there's the option to choose contents, video and book info. Let's take a look at the contents first. There's 18 different sections here covering all aspects of buying a VW Beetle, ranging from cost considerations to common problems. This is a unique buyer's guide dedicated to VW Beetles built from 1945 to 2003. The informative text is written by enthusiastic experts with the novice in mind. But this isn't just for the first time buyer, it's going to be of great value to those who have already owned a Beetle. The many colour photographs you can see here in this app were taken especially for this guide. The two authors, Ken Savenka and Richard Copping, have a staggering 75 years experience between them with the model, so they know exactly what they're talking about. So if you're interested in buying a classic Beetle, this app will prove an invaluable guide to avoiding the many pitfalls and ultimately getting real value for money from the Beetle that you choose to buy. Okay, so as you can see, there's a lot of info in these chapters, so I'm going to move on now to the slideshow section and give you a quick look at that. So here we have Richard Copping talking us through the model range. Beetles with split pane rear windows were all built before March 1953. From June 49, when realistically due to rarity if nothing else, for the 66 model year, Volkswagen introduced a 1300 engine, which developed 40 PS, making the Beetle much lively. Ken Savenka provides the voiceover for the evaluation part of the slideshow section. The dashboard should be damage free, while all the dials and switches ought to be in full working order. A radio, if fitted, should be of the correct size and appearance to suit the year of the Beetle. Sometimes the radio aperture has been butchered to fit an unsuitable later. While the vinyl used in the majority of Beetles is more durable, the surface of early steering wheels often crack with age but can be refurbished. This car has many desirable period accessories including a mesh parcel shelf, To prevent heat from the exhaust being sucked into the cooling fan, it's very important to check that all the hoses and seals are in good condition. The easiest way to reliably identify a Beetle's age is by the chassis or VIN number. This is the engine number is stamped on the crankcase under the Dynamo alternator pedestal. Ken's guidance here is going to be priceless when out and about viewing Beetles. When rust takes hold in a panel and perforation of the metal occurs, the paint surface starts to form blisters. Here we can see rust creeping from under the Beetle. The great thing about these slideshow sections is that you get the Mark Expert themselves sharing their knowledge and expertise with you on your iPhone. And finally, you can also buy the book that this app was based on. You'll find extra material in the book, including a full 60-minute evaluation with great details, including a marking system to evaluate the beetles you're looking at. It also has a hundred colour photographs, specially taken to illustrate the text, plus useful captions. Alright, that's the end of this demonstration video. Goodbye for now.